what to do if there's a stuck slide. So we've got this five valve tuba right here. Fourth slide, which is on the back side here. That guy is stuck. So it's a multi-step process. You know, the first thing, obviously, you're going to try just pull it by hand. That's not working. Okay, so what's the, what's the next uh, thing we're going to go to to try to get that free? First thing I want you to do is try to break up the corrosion. Because remember, this slide, it's probably pretty long. It's a big instrument, so there's probably a tube going all the way down here and a tube going all the way down here. And so that's lots of surface area where corrosion could build up, especially if it's in a school and who knows the last time it's been cleaned. So I want you to take your rawhide mallet and fairly gently... Try to just get some vibrations going through there, get that corrosion broken up. Once in a while, that's all it'll take, and you'll be able to actually pull it by then. Um, you, of course, don't want to create any dents. It's the same reason we're not just taking it out by nailing it that way. I could definitely get it out that way, but I would also probably put a huge dent in this tube. Remember, this is just a hollow tube, so I'd probably be able to get it out, but I would have ruined the slide because there's really no way to get once I've got the slide out, no way to get a dent ball up in there and repair a dent on the underside there. So we want to be pretty gentle with it, but kind of break it up. Try that. Still doesn't work. Okay, next thing we're going to do. Get some corrosion cracker or something similar. So I get this from Fariz. They call it corrosion cracker. It's all kinds of stuff like this, though. You could go to the hardware store, get PB Blaster is one of the most common ones. Um, and you're, this is just going to kind of um, work its way into the slide and sort of break up any nastiness that's inside the tubes there. So going to put it right where there's this little opening here. And then I want to heat it up a little bit to kind of draw the liquid inside. So I'm going to go to the Vortex Air Torch. And just heat it up from the outside. And that's going to thin out the liquid just enough to kind of draw it into where we need it to go. Don't have to heat it a lot, just as long as it's a little bit warmer than the rest of the slide, it should draw most of the liquid in. And then I want to give this like the maximum chance for success, so you might have to get a little creative, but get gravity working for you. And find a way to prop it up overnight. And let that corrosion cracker kind of seep down in there, do its thing, and then we'll give it another try tomorrow.